Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question is the amount of shared DNA between present-day humans of primary European and Asian descent and the now instinct Neanderthals and you have to choose one of these answers. Before I will show you the correct answer, short announcement, take a look at this screenshot. This is my YouTube channel. Usually you watch videos on the videos tab, but some of you also check shorts. I post shorts also frequently and some of you check playlist. It is also very convenient because all the information here, all the videos is organized in folders or playlists, but only few of you checking on the community tab. I highly recommend you to check this tab daily because every day I post articles here and also exam questions, multiple choice questions. I post about 10 articles and questions a day. And here you can see how students answer this question. Before you will make your choice, of course, you're not going to see these answers. So you would be able to see this variance only after you vote. And in order to check which answer is correct, you just have to check the answer in the comments where I post correct answer and explanation why this answer is correct. But this time, most of the student gave a wrong answer because the correct answer between one and 3% we have in our genome DNA, which we inherit from the Neanderthals. Not much to explain here. You just have to memorize this statistical information that between one and 3%. And the second question, the time of arrival of Homo sapiens in Europe. And here's the variance of the answers to choose from. And again, take a look how students answered this question, which I post uh, just a few hours ago, as you see, six hours ago. And basically we have here the whole range of different numbers. Imagine that about half a million years ago, humans and Neanderthals diverged from each other. So it happened about here, half a million years ago, 500,000 years ago. Let's say this branch is going to be Homo Neanderthals and this is going to be Homo sapiens. So Homo Neanderthals occupied Europe for about 400,000 years. Then there was arrival of humans about 40,000 years ago. So it happened 40,000 years ago. And if you think that this is how this phylogenetic tree should look like, this is not quite so. Take a look. Actually, Homo Neanderthals and Homo sapiens merged together. And basically this happened just within few thousand years, roughly it took about 5,000 years during which our two species merged together. So this is where speciation happened. And during almost 400,000 of years, we Homo sapiens stayed in Africa. But Homo neanderthals moved to Europe and stay there for almost 400,000 years. Then 40,000 years ago, Homo sapiens came to Europe and our species interbred. And this led to uh, Homo neanderthals being just assimilated in Homo sapiens in our genome because Homo sapiens outnumbered Homo neanderthals. But Homo neanderthals genes you mostly can find in modern Europeans and Asians, but not in Africans, unless there is also back migration from European and Asian areas back to Africa. I also want you to take a look at this picture, which shows population density and dispersal of Homo neanderthals shown here with red color. And as you see, humans arrived somewhere in between these two pictures and 
number of Homo Neanderthals, as you see, already were declined and basically declined to zero just in about 5,000 years. We still don't know why this happened, but scientists think that uh, just Homo sapiens were more successful, have better adaptation and probably they also brought some diseases to which Homo Neanderthals just didn't have natural resistance. We have many examples which support this theory, for example, with arrival of Europeans and Americans to Hawaiian Islands, where population were, local population were about 1 million people, Europeans brought diseases with them, and local population declined to only 50,000 pure Hawaiians right now on the islands. So as you see, even after 200 years with all modern medicine, local population didn't restore its original numbers. And of course, many local Hawaiians are not pure blood anymore, but represent a mixture between Hawaiians and Asians of uh, different ancestry, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, and also with Europeans. So very large portion, about 20% are Hapa Hawaiians or of the mixed ancestry, including Hawaiian ancestors. And such processes we call assimilation. When one population which arrived outnumber the original population and basically original population just dissolves in gene pool of the immigrants. Now we can choose the correct answer, which is answer E. Homo sapiens came to Europe about 40,000 years ago.